Hi dear friends, this is Elena uh, and this is my quick paint test review of Camel Fabrica acrylic paints from the Indian manufacturer Kamlin Kokuyo. I want to find out how good are these paints for use in textile. My test will include the usual points, color brightness and opacity, softness of painted area on fabric and result after laundry. Keep watching, this fabric paint quality might surprise you. This is the 6 color set in the jars of 10 ml each. Here it's not mentioned whether this paint is for light color fabrics or just for dark, that's why we'll assume that it is for both. Right under the list of shades written on the box, we can see that this paint complies with European safety standards and is non-toxic. It is an important point which I encourage you to always check whenever you're shopping for new brands of fabric paint on your own. The colors in the box are not primary shades. We have here ultramarine blue, white, lemon yellow, black, crimson and sap green. I'm gonna start with the white paint. It's one of the main colors by which we can judge paint's opacity. There is almost no smell to this paint. The texture is very pleasant, so smooth, feels like whipping cream. Spreading on fabric is nice and easy. We'll be able to see how well this white color performs only after applying the second layer. Because normally, first layer of paint is getting absorbed into fibers, which is a good thing since it will create a better binding with fabric. Uh, I want to mention that uh, this is a t-shirt and it's made out of 100% cotton. I'm making two types of swatches, one with all the colors on a white background and others just with two layers of each color. I'll do the same when painting my illustration. I'm picking up paint generously and spreading it evenly on the surface. I'm very curious how these colors will look when dry and how they'll survive laundry, because so far they perform really well. I'm always separately testing yellow, blue and green colors, as they are usually the least pigmented ones among all of fabric paint brands. The reason is because these shades do not include white pigment, hence uh, they have the least opacity compared to others. All paints from this range are similar by consistency. It means there is nothing like some colors are more watery while others are thicker. My observation is that coverage level of these paints is rather good. Because of this, it won't require many layers to achieve a solid color. It also means that the consumption of paint won't be high and the finished painting might feel softer. But we will see about that. Painted surface dries up rather fast. I will fast forward a little bit and show you already a final look of my illustration once it's completely dry and heat fixed.
The last milestone is to give it a wash. I'll make sure to follow manufacturer's recommendation, 40 degrees Celsius, light detergent, inside out, because it's only fair to judge if we don't break the rules. Note how uniform is the painted surface. Let's squeeze it a bit. T-shirt feels soft in a place of illustration but rather stiff on paint swatches where application is more solid. Hmm. Now I'm gonna stretch it a little bit. Why yes, it does not crack. Nice. And voila! Here is a complete picture of Camel's Fabrica Acrylic Colors performance. I'm surprised with the outcome. This paint hits good marks considering its affordability and the quality results it gives. I wasn't sure if it would stay undamaged after a machine wash. I paid only around $3 in the UAE for this set which is, if compared with prices of other fa fabric paints here, is rather good, I might say. Now, the only confusing part for me about this fabric paint so far is its softness. That's why, before I'll go ahead and recommend it to you, I'd like to make a bigger painting with it in one of the upcoming videos, since this one was just a quick test review. If you'd like to see the next one, uh, remember to subscribe to this channel. I thank you for your feedback and see you in the next videos.